United Agarwood Planters has a number of experts in the team relating to the various stages of agarwood production and one of our most important partners is Dr Mun Theng. She's a Malaysian, she has a PhD undergraduate, postgraduate and PhD all relating to agarwood production. So we met around October of 2024. Dr Mun Theng, she has uh, extensive experience and expertise in the agarwood industry, so she has an, a PhD relating to agarwood production as well as 20 years in the industry. Um, this is both in Malaysia, in Thailand and elsewhere and it's everything from plantation practices right through to, uh, to the production of, of agarwood chip and, and agarwood oil. So she brings a, a great depth of expertise to the team and about 12 months ago I started discussing with Dr. Mun Thing that we should look for some opportunities to, to acquire some mature Aquilaria malassensis trees here in Malaysia so that we could undertake this research and development initiative. And so she identified some plantations that um, uh, the planters had, had, have been successful in planting the trees but haven't really understood the full value chain on agarwood production and so they haven't really been able to connect with credible inoculant technology as well as, as, well as the market. So we've been able to negotiate to acquire plantations here in, in Malaysia and we've designed a program that will allow us to both demonstrate the efficacy, so, so demonstrate the effectiveness of Udino uh, in comparison to two other inoculation technologies as well as uh, allow the United Agarwood Planters staff to really become comfortable and confident to process and handle agarwood. So we negotiated to, to acquire a plantation. We're starting with 700 trees although we can expand quite significantly beyond that and so today we've brought a number of the team from United Agarwood Planters here to Malaysia, our, our people from Luzon as well as from the plantation in Bukidnon and they're here for the week to have the training and develop some of the expertise around the uh, inoculation practices. There are three inoculation technologies that we're working with and what you'll see is that each of these has a different protocol, has a different anticipated result and has a different market. We have licensed Udino because we are very impressed with the scientific and very structured and disciplined approach of the technology development, the validation in the industry, and the fact that Udino will produce both agarwood chip and also wood that could be used for agarwood oil production. If too sloppy, you will find the challenges during inoculation, where you put your stair, there's a risk of fall for the workers. So a flat land is good, but not waterlogged land. I am Dr. Mantain. I am a forest biotechnologist specialized in agarwood. Today, we are now in this plantation which is in Alo Gajah, Melaka. I have been in this agarwood field. I come in touch with this agarwood since 2007 uh, during my bachelor study time. Then I further for my master in agarwood research and also in my PhD also in agarwood research. And then my first job is agarwood in Thailand and then I come back to Malaysia also in agarwood industry until today. My background is actually a forester, forester in science. So agarwood is a forest tree. That's why I have the opportunity to meet this tree. I am in agarwood project is because my supervisor, Prof. Rosie Mohamed, who is also a gaharu lady in Malaysia, she is specifically in agarwood, so I'm her student. That's why, as I'm following her, we are in this agarwood project. So, agarwood is where I grow my passion in. So, if not, I won't be here from 2007 until today. So, my passion grow as we do research. So, my background is very strong is on distillation of agarwood oil. So, in this concept, we have to be very particular in everything. Everything must be very accurate from the manufacturing to distillation. And yeah, Aculara has many species in Malaysia as commercial. One is Malasensis, we have Krasna, Subintegra, and Sinensis. But now we are focusing on Aculara Malasensis. One is because Philippines also have very nice Aculara Malasensis. So we have shared the same species so we can easily connect the Aculara Malasensis in Malaysia and Aculara Malasensis in the Philippines. So the project we are doing here is to see which inoculant or how well they perform so that we can do the same one when we are in the Philippines. Less than 15 cm is Blue Raffia string. Bigger than 15 cm will be the Green Raffia string. 
Why you are seeing me here is because me, Dr. Manti, is working hand in hand with UAPI in this agarwood industry. So what are we going all this way along is we started with planting in the Philippines. Then now because planting we will need to wait about many years before we can try the inoculants. So we already discussed why not we make it in Malaysia first with the same species. So we can compare it well within the inoculant over here. And then after this, we have we're harvesting it 12 months, 18 months, 24 months to see their results. And not only to see the yield of the wood, we're going to distill it. That is when my expertise comes in and makes very well. So here I will optimize the yield, optimize the quality to get the best yield. So there's many expect the, from the raw material, how do you distill it, how do you ferment it, and using what kind of distiller. So this I've already uh, have a lot of experience in it. So from the yield of the oil quality, so now we can determine which inoculant the best. The inoculant we are trying here is absolutely all uh, organic inoculant. So nothing to worry about when you get the oil, you can do, we can do it in everything like cosmetic, perfumery, or maybe something that people are also into like coffee in Malaysia. And also actually we can not only do the oil, the actually whole tree is very valuable. Even the leaves now, we can use to do tea. And even the wood itself, in Chinese, we can use to boil soap or to put our barrage to drink. So this is our main project here in Malaysia, is see which inoculant, I mean, each, each inoculant, the results, and then we'll proceed to distillation. Not only distillation, we also will be carving wood chips. So these wood chips, we also look at their uh, analysis, which we will send for GC to see their compound fragrance. We'll do raisin extraction content and that is how we will judge which inoculum is better to be used in future. We will harvest these trees at 12 months, 18 months and 24 months. And so what that means is we'll also understand what's the optimal time frame for, for harvesting the trees um, using Udino and also the, the, the other products. Um, following that, the, the whole logs will be exported to the Philippines. So with full CITES certification and all the necessary permits and licenses, these trees will be shipped to the Philippines. And in the Philippines, they'll be processed by the staff of United Agarwood Planters. So this will develop the skills, uh, expertise, and familiarity on how to handle the agarwood, um, how to extract the chips, uh, how to produce the, the raw material for the oil distillation and then we will also be distilling oil from these trees. And so really that, that, that will allow the staff to become very confident and very comfortable in handling agarwood. It means that we won't be learning, we won't be optimizing with the trees that we've planted or the trees that our, our partners have planted. And so it's very much um, a validation of the Udino as well as uh, de de developing these skills amongst the staff. So all of our plantation partners, so anybody who's planting with us, whether it's in Bukidnon or whether it's a, a private plantation, will benefit from the research and development because we'll make the information uh, readily available on a very transparent basis. Uh, today we have uh, more than 20 uh, partner planters here with us in, in Malacca. And so it's designed to be a very transparent and confidence building exercise that will also you know give give a lot of value and benefit to our our partner planters we're investing around about two million dollars in the next two years on this initiative so uh, it's something we're taking very seriously it's something that we see will add a lot of value in the future for our agarwood program we're not necessarily focused on making money from these from these trees yes we will but it's really designed as this uh, optimization and research and development exercise. Um, we actually have access to a large number of mature agarwood trees, Aquilaria malacensis trees here in Malaysia. So it may be something that we consider in the future, a more commercial uh, continuation of the project. Um, but that would that would really require us setting up, you know, operations in Malaysia and it's not really our not really our focus. What we want to do is make sure that uh, as 
We continue to move forward with the Philippines agarwood industry. We do absolutely everything we can to make sure that we understand what we're doing, that we apply the best practice, that we minimize the risk, and that we maximize the returns for our, for our planters. Thank you.